hi, this is Neil Bano. And that's probably the first time that I've introduced myself like that on this video, if it makes it to YouTube. And I wanted to make this video kind of as like a snapshot of how things are going in my life right now. I guess this video could be more of like a mental health check. Something that I've been thinking about a lot is going by the name Nope Anna. So Nope Anna is a combination of both my Vietnamese name, which would be Nope An, and my American name, Anna. It's taken me some time to kind of get used to it, just like how it took me some time to get used to the name Nope An. I remember when I first started going by Ngopan, I would tell people what it is, and after getting over the whole, like, can they even say the name, I would also have to remember to respond to the name, and also in its different variations because everybody pronounces it differently, which is fine, which is expected, which is cool. But now that I guess I'm going by Ngopana, it's kind of like a lessening of things. Uh, I don't think that I would have been able to go by Ngopiana before. So it's like, it's easier for me to respond because it has my name in it. Um, it has Anna in it. Um, and hopefully it's also easier for people to um, pronounce, which is a part of the reason why I'm going by this name. And I think a big part is just like, I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired of fighting that fight. Um, I'm tired of people not knowing how to say my name and kind of like breezing over it. And I'm more open to compromise. I don't know, like I think a couple years ago when I started going by Ngop and then I wanted to be called Ngop and and I wasn't and then I wasn't really wanting to change my name. Basically concessions. Uh, it just felt really sad for me. It was, I just thought of history and the hurt and the inability to try and it just really, just it watered the seeds of sadness a lot. <laughs> I watered the seeds of sadness constantly in my standing up for what I thought was right. And sometimes it would bring me joy and being and knowing that I was trying to quote unquote make the world a better place. Um, that would give me some comfort, but the everydayness of it, the everydayness of like people not saying my name, <laughs> just being really different and I think Nopiana is still is even more d different to be honest because it's definitely not American but it's also definitely not Vietnamese either um, which you know to me now seems just like that's so me I think I'm gonna try this out it's kind of like a halfway maybe it, I'm just gonna go in a circle and a couple years later I'll just be going by Anna I do see that like every day when I meet people, I am a teacher. I'm teaching people things. I'm sharing my my culture, a, cult a culture that I am a participant in that has nourished me, that has raised me. I guess Ngopiana is gonna be more of like a, a nickname that I have people call me because I think that on my IMDB, I'm still gonna keep Ngopan. I can't believe it and it's just, it's a lifelong journey, and I have a lot of options, I really do. Ngop. Anna. Ngop. Anna. <laughs> oh, fun times. Fun times indeed. Mental health. Another thing that has been helping my mental health is um, my connection with Buddhism. I recently went to a Vietnamese monastery, a Vietnamese Buddhist monastery for a three-month retreat and uh, it was cool. 
the reason why I picked a Buddhist monastery is just that's something I'm very familiar with, something that I grew up with. Um, we went to a Buddhist uh, nunnery, nun temple, temple with nuns, and that's where we, um, that's where I learned Vietnamese uh, every Sunday. And my mom would also take us to like week long retreats, um, and it seems to help her. Um, so really my connection with Buddhism is just exploring my ancestral inheritance is what it is. My connection to Buddhism is a way to appease my mom, basically. A way to make her happy, to accompany her. But it's become a little bit more than that for me now. I want to keep going because um, there are things that I have picked up from my time either at the temple where I learned Vietnamese um, or going to the retreats um, that I like, that I think benefit my life and my well-being. And so I guess that's the reason why I keep going. Yeah, and I feel like every single time I go to these retreats, it kind of just grounds me a little bit deeper in it. Just because like every single time I go, I have more reasons, they give me more reasons to like it. And also I'm more familiar with the practice um, and I'm more confident that it benefits me. Yeah, and I guess there's also been things in my life um, whenever I am kind of like suffering, which is kind of like all the time. <laughs> uh, I find that being at the monastery for these retreats um, make me feel better. I feel healthier and healthier like mentally and it and also it's a pretty healthy place to be physically that's enough for me right now anyways thank you for watching this video and i hope that you are well and i hope that watching this video makes you more well okay i guess this is gonna be it because yeah